From Nothing to Everything, The Inspiring Journey of Leonardo del Vecchio. In the heart of Milan, Italy, in the year 1935, a young boy named Leonardo del Vecchio was born into poverty. His early life was marked by adversity and struggle, but little did the world know that this boy would one day become one of the wealthiest and most influential figures in the eyewear industry. The Humble Beginnings Leonardo del Vecchio's early life was a testament to resilience and the power of ambition. Born in 1935 in Milan, Italy, he faced hardships that would have discouraged many. Tragically, he lost his father at a young age, leaving him an orphan. This difficult start in life could have defined his future, but young Leonardo had a different vision. From a very early age, Leonardo demonstrated an extraordinary work ethic and an insatiable hunger for knowledge. At the tender age of seven, when most children were still learning to read and write, he embarked on a remarkable journey by starting work as an apprentice in a small factory that manufactured eyeglass frames. This factory became his classroom, and the eyeglass frames his textbooks. From the outset, he approached his work with diligence and curiosity. He wasn't merely content with the repetitive tasks assigned to him. He aspired to understand every facet of the eyewear trade. This was his first encounter with the world of eyewear, and it ignited a spark within him. The spark of entrepreneurship. By the age of 23, Leonardo del Vecchio, had already accumulated a wealth of knowledge and experience in the eyewear industry. However, his aspirations went beyond being a skilled craftsman. He envisioned a new approach to eyewear, one that would make quality eyeglasses accessible to everyone and transform them from mere necessities into fashion statements. In an unwavering belief in his vision, Del Vecchio decided it was time to take a bold step. In 1957, he founded his own eyewear company, starting in a small workshop. This venture was the birth of what would become the global eyewear giant, known as Lexotica. In those early days, Lexotica was a modest operation, with just a handful of dedicated employees who shared Del Vecchio's passion and commitment to excellence. The workshop, where each pair of eyeglass frames was meticulously crafted, was a far cry from the massive manufacturing facilities Lexotica would later become known for. Endless Perseverance the early years of Lexotica were marked by adversity and challenges that would have discouraged most entrepreneurs. Despite the dedication and innovative spirit of Leonardo del Vecchio, the company faced several formidable obstacles. Like many startups, Lexotica encountered financial difficulties. The costs associated with research, development, and maintaining high-quality standards strained the company's resources. Del Vecchio often had to make difficult choices between covering expenses and pursuing his vision of producing accessible stylish eyewear. The burden of debt loomed, but Del Vecchio remained undeterred. Lexotica was pitted against industry giants, massive eyewear corporations that seemed insurmountable. These established players had significant market share and vast resources. Competing against them appeared to be an uphill battle. However, Del Vecchio refused to be intimidated. He believed that innovation, quality, and a deep understanding of the evolving fashion trends could level the playing field. Del Vecchio's perseverance was nothing short of remarkable. He worked tirelessly, often putting in long hours to keep the business afloat. He understood that success would not come overnight, and that every setback was an opportunity to learn and grow. The Turning Point as Lexotica continued to navigate the turbulent waters of the eyewear industry, Leonardo del Vecchio recognized that a bold move was needed to secure the company's future and fulfill his vision of making high-quality, fashionable eyewear accessible to everyone. This realization marked a pivotal turning point in the company's history. Del Vecchio's stroke of genius was the decision to vertically integrate Lexotica's business operations. This meant that Lexotica would take control of every aspect of the eyewear production process, from design to distribution. Prior to this, the eyewear industry operated with a more fragmented approach, where different companies handled various stages of production. By bringing all these operations under one roof, Lexotica gained unprecedented control and efficiency. This move allowed the company to maintain strict quality standards at every step, 
ensuring that each pair of eyeglasses bearing the Luxottica name met the highest standards of craftsmanship and design. The impact of this decision was nothing short of revolutionary. Luxottica's vertical integration disrupted the traditional eyewear industry model. The company could now streamline production, reduce costs, and respond rapidly to changing market trends. A legacy of success. Today, Leonardo Del Vecchio's net worth is measured in billions of dollars. His company, Luxottica, is a global giant in the eyewear industry, with a presence in over 150 countries. But more than the wealth, Del Vecchio's story is a testament to the power of determination, innovation, and the unwavering belief that one can rise from nothing to everything. The Lesson Leonardo Del Vecchio's journey reminds us that it's not where you start in life, but where you aim to go that matters most. It's about embracing adversity, learning from it, and using it as fuel for your dreams. Del Vecchio's life story is a beacon of hope for anyone who aspires to achieve greatness from humble beginnings. So remember, your journey to success may have its share of obstacles, but with unyielding determination and a clear vision, you too can turn nothing into everything.